Spare me, please! I surrender! As soon as you find yourself in an unfavorable position, you cry surrender? As if I would oblige. The misdeeds of you miserable lot end here. Let hell have its way with you! Still your blade, Lilith! What are you doing, Lord Mont? Our opponent has called his surrender. Fighting any further would be meaningless. <sighs> reporting We have received word that the Fetus army has raided the village of Sorgi. <sighs> Lilith! If memory serves me, Sorgi is Commander Lilith's birthplace. Her younger brother likely still resides there. when you show compassion to the enemy. But... My little brother... He lies dead by their hands! You have my sympathies. But... Please heed my reason, Lilith. Hatred can only bear hatred, and so I... If we don't kill the enemy, then it is us who will be killed instead. Your kingdom may be small, but you are a prince, aren't you? And yet you fail to grasp even this simple truth of war. <sighs> Nothing remains of me anymore. Not my past, not my future. I've endured more than I can take! I know you dread taking the battlefield. You do anything to avoid the killing! I refuse to humor a craven prince's warplay any further! Lilith... Moraga will fall to my blade. I'll make it happen even without you or the division behind me! You can't mean that! Oh, can't I? If I must forfeit my own life to see it done, so be it. There's nothing left for me here anyway. I understand the terror caused by Moraga all too well. But there are some fights from which I can never back down. If you try to stop me, I'll strike you down where you stand, Lord Mont. Lilith. Sir Corwell, the enemy forces have begun their retreat! Is that so? Allow us to engage in pursuit. This is our chance to turn the tides in one fell swoop. I wonder about that. And you are? I take it you haven't been introduced yet. This is Moore and Romana. A couple of visitors who have been lending us a hand for a few days now. It appears that their village was wiped out in the battle between Rundal and Likaros. They're reading the stars for us. Reading the stars? Give it a try, Ramada. Under this midday sun? The darkness grows steadily. And what does that mean, exactly? Simply that she is not yet able to accurately read the stars. 
What drivel. If the stars really could tell us everything, then we wouldn't have a care in the world. We shape our so-called destiny by sheer force. What we resist is fate itself. See for yourself. Some of our comrades have already taken this opportunity to charge the enemy. Fools. If you do not wish to die, then you had best withdraw at once. It's too late for that now. Then what do you intend to do? Either we sink or we swim. I'll cover them. I know it's asking a bit much, but we could really use your help. Understood. It would seem we should make haste then. We've received word that the Resistance has begun their advance. They've taken the bait. Though I bear no malice towards the Resistance, I must see this through as I would any of my duties. Engage and hit them hard! It looks as though the enemy battalion has turned northward. Let us withdraw for the time being and reorganize our formation. Battalion? Where? Behind that hill, currently beyond our field of vision. You can see things like that? Indeed she can. There lies the true potential of reading the star. That matters not. Ready yourselves! They're approaching! But... You are being pushed to act yet again. I do not question your abilities in the slightest. However, the same cannot be said of my comrades. Why can they not take action? All they must do is but what they are told, after all. It's... a matter of trust. To put it plainly, my comrades aren't able to place their faith in you two just yet. Faith? And what good comes from something such as faith? They need but do as they are instructed. Or is that asking too much? A bit unreasonable if you ask me. We are human after all, with all the thoughts and feelings that go with it. How trifling. Then it seems you have settled on defeat. No. I do not believe that is the case. Who in the hells?! Who might you be? Lilith. I was looking for a place to die, and somehow found my way here. A place to die? I severed all ties with my nation, and set out to avenge my brother's death. It's been nigh on two years. But alas... It has proven beyond my capabilities. Even for the likes of you? And it looks like you're up against... Rundle, huh? Quite the formidable adversary. Is that your way of saying you'll aid us? But why would you? With a sword arm like that, you would be welcomed into the service of any of the kingdoms. My days of servitude to some nation are over. As I said, I've forsaken my homeland. 
homeland. Leonis, quite a small country with an insufferable prince to boot. Hmm. I see. Now then, show me what you've got. Unfortunately for you, I'm in a downright surly mood. So don't expect me to go easy on you! So you feel it too? I can see it. Though my sight is a bit hazy. The great stag... ...will perish. The stars predict the fall of Rundal. Could it be that fate finally favors us? It would seem so. Fate is not stagnant, but ever-evolving. Be that as it may, if Rundal is to fall to ruin, there is little cause for us to put our lives at risk. Our revenge will be realized no matter the means, so long as Rundal falls. Meaning, we are to abandon the Resistance? Abandon? They would be fighting Rundal with or without us. Whether they keep at it or concede is entirely up to them. If we leave here, what is to become of Lilith? One does not need to read the stars to figure out that woman's fate. But you already know that, do you not? I do. This far-reaching, immense darkness. To escape such an omen would be nigh impossible, I fear. And should we involve ourselves with her, we too shall be consumed by that same darkness. <laughs> Such a fate is not to be sympathized with. Understood. There's nothing I can do to keep you from going? I suggest you cease this futile battle as we have. Futile? You speak of ceding the place we were born and raised. I thought you would understand, given what they did to your homeland. Which is precisely why I say that it is futile. <clears throat> For those that read the stars, our village was a sacred place. And for that very reason, we were unable to yield it. Leading to its destruction, I take it? In the end, Homeland is just that. 
land. Do you not think it absurd for an entire clan to perish for clinging to such a trivial thing? You'll say whatever's convenient, won't you? All the memories held within this land. Is that trivial to you? A premonition of Rundal's ruin, you claim? Tell us the truth. You would rather run than face Rundal. That's it, isn't it? Uh, hey! It seems her mind is made up. But where will you go from here? To Heindler. Heindler? But they're under Rundal's rule! I shall sneak into the heart of the enemy and watch their downfall with my own eyes. Nothing more. <laughs> That's how you spin it, anyway. Excuse me? I imagine going to Heindler should prove advantageous to Rundal. Isn't that right? Doing so will lead to the spilled blood of countless innocents. What of it? All you're doing is taking the weak and casting them aside. If you keep doing so, war will never cease to exist. Never. You say all this while having done the same yourself? Myself? You said so yourself. You have forsaken your homeland. That? I could no longer stomach the craven prince and his antics. Simple. You said you were searching for a place to die, correct? Then may your death be befittingly miserable and forlorn. <sighs> hmm. Despite your insistence that you wish to die, it seems there is still some desire that keeps you here. Is it honor? The head of an enemy commander? Or perhaps... I want... the fighting to end. Hm. Then allow me to ask. By abandoning your country and striking it out on your own, will the wars of this world come to an end? <sighs> I am not driven by fleeting emotions, unlike you. Everything I do is to increase the likelihood of Rundal's demise, even if by only a little. Nothing more. Ramada, I shall ask you but once. Will you join me or not? I shall stay. Then you have resigned yourself to the all-consuming darkness. What does that mean? Take care. Are you truly all right with this, Ramada? Why would you part with your sister? <laughs> Why, indeed. I wanted to witness the waking of the lion. Let us leave it at that. Waking of the... What do you mean by that? You will understand soon enough. The forces of Rundle approach! Ramada, thank you. If you wish to express your gratitude, I will gladly listen once we have finished here. For the time being, let us focus on surviving this encounter. Members of the Resistance! This battle is already decided. Rundal has this entire region surrounded. We have no desire to spill blood needlessly. Surrender! <laughs> I suppose this is as far as we go.
What do we do, Corwell? I don't mind being the one to negotiate if you choose to yield. We fight to the end. Are you serious? You do realize we have no chance of winning, right? I would sooner die than give them this land. Because you were born here. Though only scorched earth remains, this village was filled with the sound of songbirds less than a year ago. <sighs> they plan to use it as an outpost for an invasion of Horn. I understand this place is dear to you. But you can escape the horrors of war and start anew elsewhere, can you not? Are you truly able to bear the memories you hold dear being sullied? <sighs> Is it so easy for you to give up the land that your comrades shed blood, sweat, and tears to protect? Well, it isn't for us. And so, we fight until we can no longer go on. Very well. Just surrender. Please. Please? I will ensure you are not mistreated. That I promise you. Why would you do that? Why, you ask? We're obviously overpowered. It would be easy for you to tear through us. If one of us were to kill the other, would that bring an end to this war? Although hatred is an unavoidable component of warfare, that vicious cycle must be broken at some point. Lord Mont said something of the like. Lord Mont? The prince of my homeland. Would that be... Leonis? Oh? You actually know of it? I have heard of the prince who cares not for war. More like a coward that would make easy pickings for other countries. That is not how I see it. Huh? I would like to meet him, if I ever had the chance. <sighs> I am the Steadfast Baral of Rundal's 2nd Division, Crucium. You must convince the others of the Resistance. I am counting on you. The name is Lilith. And I shall try. Forgive me. I did little for you. Not so. The two of you helped us more than we could ever think possible. I was prepared to fight until the bitter end to protect this land. But in the end, I couldn't stand to see any more comrades get hurt. What will you do from here? I think we'll find somewhere peaceful to reside, and spend our days preparing to take back this village. Could I... come with you? I'm afraid I must refuse. <sighs> the path you should walk is not one of revenge, but one that will lead to the end of war. Don't you think so? <sighs> you might be right about that. And with that, we must take our leave. We'll never forget what you've done for us. Ramada, what will you do now? I shall accompany you. What? I know your heart. There is a place where you hope to hear the sound of songbirds again, correct? 
Then let us be off. Is something amiss? Do you think... they would forgive me? I am certain of it. Now, shall we? To Leonis, the Kingdom of the Lions. <laughs>